Hello everyone. Here is another lovely hand shadow book. Now, um, I've got quite a lot of books and I keep collecting them. And this is a book called Fun with Hand Shadows by Sati Achath. And it's a really nice little book. There's a lot of different animals and characters and suggestions of things that you can do. Now, I picked two shadows from this book that I really like that are a little bit different to the way that I do things. Um, there's a rabbit. Now, if you've watched uh, my rabbit videos previously, you'll know that when I make the rabbit, I go like this, and then I add the legs in some form, maybe like that, to make my rabbit. Now, setting out chest rabbit is similar, but there's a little bit of a difference, and you might find this easier. So what you do is you curl your finger, your index finger, up against your middle finger, and put it just on the bottom knuckle, so there's a tiny eye like that. So you've got roughly that kind of shape. Now the thumb, you've got to turn the hand a little bit and the thumb actually sticks out, you can see there, as a kind of mouth, like that. So the thumb is just against my hand like that, rather than being up here where I would normally have it. So it's quite down like that. And that is the rabbit's little mouth there. Now this is the really fun part. Put your left hand like this and put the rabbit on top and kind of hold on to your hand like this. And there is the little rabbit with its tail. You can see I've just adjusted my hand a little bit to make the tail at the back. It's quite cute. You could spread out the fingers to make two legs at the front, or you could just do it like that. A really nice little rabbit shape. And that's what the hands look like. So the left hand is underneath holding on and just sticking out the tip of the thumb to make the tail. Now, one of the other characters that I really like, you've probably seen me make lots of different human beings. This one is um, Fidel Castro, the uh, Cuban politician. And um, normally I would make the faces using my hand to make the bottom part of the face like that, and one hand to make the top, or I might twist the hands around like that. This one's a little bit different. So he's actually got a, quite a long beard and he's got a really distinctive hat, Fidel Castro. So you take your hand, you bend it down from the wrist and stick the thumb out along the side like that and make this the beard like that. A little bit like making an elephant. And then this hand, you make a little cap. And there is Fidel Castro. I really like that because it's so simple. Nose, beard, hat. <laughs> and there he is. Ta -da! Just like that. I bet that you could adapt this shape to make other characters. Perhaps we could make uh, Father Christmas. <laughs> Perhaps we could make uh, somebody with a head like this. Oh, maybe it's William Shakespeare. That's quite a nice shape for Shakespeare, like a little beard like that. But it's a really, really simple shape. And then you can turn it into an elephant, of course. <laughs> there we go. So happy practicing and uh, keep watching.